AirPod number seven. Dude, I genuinely couldn't tell you how I lose these things. My dog must eat them or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Huddy, and I'm gonna be sharing with you my starter pack ingredients. The things that make me, me. So the first thing on my list is my most essential. This is my dog, Lucario, right here. Hey, bubs. He's shy. He looks cute, he just came from the groomer. And he's trying to escape already. Hey, bubs. He's my best friend. I take him everywhere with me. I've had Pomeranians all of my life. My parents have three right now. I got my first one when I was like 10 years old. I had to get one of my own once I grew up. This is my little child, my little crazy child. Hey, boys. I got you. He's a little camera shy. Don't tell him I said that though. Cologne, I can't go anywhere without traveling with one of these. These are my Dior clones. I have been using this one for about like three, four years now. It's just like my essential. And then this is the new one that they just came out with. I've been starting to use this one a lot too. This one is the one that gets the most compliments. Not that I count. I used Hollister cologne when I was like a kid. As I grew up, I literally started using this one first. And then it just started uh, like expanding my taste in clones from there. For me, it's here. It's in the front of the neck. It's on this wrist and then it's somewhere in the chest. You can definitely overdo it. Try to find like a cap on like five or six max, honestly. Hit all the points. Don't squirt twice in the same area. My AirPods are one of my most important things that I own. They're very well capped. You can see, green battery right now. I keep that charged every night. I just got my Spotify wrap back this year. Suicide Boys is probably my top artist right now. Pierce Savelle, Lil Peep, Cigarettes After Sex. What was last one? The Smiths. Those are my top five most listened to. It's an essential, and if it gets lost, it immediately gets replaced. I can't live without my AirPods. AirPod number seven. Dude, I genuinely couldn't tell you how I lose these things. My dog must eat them or something. <laughs> these are my babies, my Uggs. I wear them everywhere. I'm always in some sort of like form of a slipper, just because it's such an, uh, like an easy way to go about life. For Uggs, I like the neutral colors as well, but blacks are the go-to. I'll wear these even like as a part of my outfit. I'll just throw them on like they're normal, like they're a regular boot, slippers all day. So I have some records. I don't take these everywhere with me, but these are an essential. I need to have records. I have a record player. Upstairs and downstairs, just in the, like, the chill areas. So I just brought a few. This is Pink Floyd. Inside's crazy on this. I think my first one was actually Tupac. The classic one of just him and like the, the black tank top. Rage Against the Machine album. Like Green Day. Part of Guns N' Roses piece. And I really like this one. One of the cat ears. I love Kiss. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Lay your eyes on the beast. This one's mine. And we changed this from the original album cover. We made the heart purple instead of red. It was important for me to drop a vinyl so I could have one for myself and uh, be able to play myself on a record player. That's really it. This is like a recent passion of mine. This is backgammon. I've been playing it for just a couple months now. I learned how to play this game when I was on vacation for New Year. I was in St. Bart's, and now I'm teaching all of my friends how to play. And it like quickly became an essential. A lot of my friends have gambling addictions already. They're like, Chase, I don't need to be addicted to anything else. It's a numbers game. It's all dice. Like you start off a game, you both roll one dice. Whoever gets like a higher one gets to go first. And you can either choose to re-roll with both your dice or stick with the one that you first roll. You're going this way. And then for me, I'm going this way. So you'd move like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three somewhere else. So I'd go here, and that would be my turn. And you wanna basically get all of your pieces to this side, and then I wanna get all my pieces over to this side. And once all of them are there, then you start doing something called a race, which is where you <laughs> collect your points over here. Seems like a lot. It is a lot, actually, but it's fun. It's a fun little game. One of the things that you have to do when you play games is keep a poker face. That way you can throw off your opponent even if you're losing because they won't know that they've gotten to you. And once someone's gotten to you, they really have a better chance at winning a game. If you like maintain your cool, they'll never know. This is my jewelry bag. Ignore the little because I was a little huddy like a year ago, but now we're huddy. <laughs> my entire jewelry collection is in here. Let me just pour it out. Just to show you how tangled. So tangled. 
too many things in here. None of them are the same category. It's earrings, it's necklaces, rings, bracelets. None of it's organized. I think that's the best part about it. It's very dysfunctional like me. This is a custom piece, the newbies piece. This is a gum wrapper. This is my newest piece. This is like a 100 million year old trilobite. I think it's really sick. It's fossil inside of a necklace. This is a Geoff jewelry chain. And it took him like two, three months to make this. He's the guy that made it spring too. I got this piece in Capri and there was a matching necklace for it as well in here. I really like the, the detailing on it. I dropped little to become Huddy. I really want people to see me as an artist and I want people to look at me and be like, yeah, this is what Huddy is and this is how he compares to little Huddy and this is two different people. This is my notebook. These are song lyrics. So I don't know if I can show you that one. I write all of my music in my journal as well. Ideas of people to have a concert with, another verse to a song. These are all song ideas. I started realizing how lost I was without expressing my feelings. When I was journaling an idea, writing slowly healing just kind of clicked to me. I've been overcoming a lot of problems and struggles in my life. I've just been writing it down and honestly, that's what helps. The next day I'll get into the studio and I'll talk about them and bring them to a song form. These are strangely deep. Oh my God, so old. This is my first DS. It's covered in Skylander stickers, Looney Tunes stickers. There's an Under Armour sticker here. This is a little childhood memory right here. My first DS, I got a Pokemon game with it and the, the obsession just started. Super Mario was a big one. I used to play Mario Kart a lot. I'm not as into gaming as I was before. I have gotten some arcade machines for myself. I use those more than I play video games, to be honest. Play COD, and that's about it. Well, the first thing that I do when I wake up is check my phone and take my dog to the bathroom. My favorite memory is probably this one trip I went on to Costa Rica with my friends. They were having their first like local party in like a couple years because of COVID and they invited us to it and it was the night of my birthday. That was really cool. Like being able to just turn up with the locals was just different. <laughs> this is us, we were about to go zip lining and then there was a random just horse on the beach. We were out dolphin watching and this bird came up, we named him Bob. I like to do something new every time it's my birthday. I wanna take the week off from work and just have fun with my friends, travel somewhere. It's usually what I do. The best go-to birthday gift is probably a bag. Getting someone a bag never fails. Or the thoughtful ones are always like the gifts that go the longest. I got a, like a picture book one time. Something that you opened up and then there was another layer with more photos of you and them. Everyone knows my best friend. My best friend's Rylan. I have quite a few best friends though. I have my cousin, my hometown best friend. His name's Aaron. Okay, 17, thank you so much for hanging out with me. These are all the items that make me me.